Use this play to force your opponent in fourth and long. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that uh, notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about uh, a request from one of my patrons. I, I had a patron request that I do a breakdown uh, of a defensive scheme out of the uh, nickel 245 uh, defense. Not a defense I've used a lot uh, in the past, uh, but there is a particular play that actually I got used against me online, and I actually had a hard time with it uh, because my opponent not only was using it as a man defense, but he's also doing hybrid defenses with it behind it. So I was very challenging to go ahead and stop this guy's defense just because of what he was doing with it uh, as his base defense. So uh, you can find this play. It's going to be the Overstorm Brave. Uh, this is out of the Bears, uh, Nickel 245. Also the Ravens, Steelers, Packers, Titans, Patriots, Broncos, Chiefs, Rams, and then the base 34 defense. So the ba base defense is Overstorm Brave. And in the uh, Chicago Bears defense, uh, Overstorm Brave actually is uh, one of the quick audibles. So what's cool about this is that you can build out a particular scheme. Uh, you can you can build out a five a five play defensive scheme out of this and having this one of your one of your pressure blitzes that you can jump into when you need to get against your, your, your opponent. All right, so setting up the blitz is really easy. All you got to do is take your line and, and uh, crash them in and then actually go ahead and cr uh, pinch the line so uh, to crash them in you're going to go ahead and hit your left bumper and then uh, push uh, pinch uh, and then to crash defensive line in or slant in you're going to hit your left bumper and your right stick down so uh, two easy adjustments now another thing you could do is you can QB contain you hit your your left trigger and then you hit the right bumper for QB contain uh, and that's three quick global adjustments you can do as you're coming out of the huddle now, another thing I like to do is actually go ahead and take, uh, I like to use the guy on the running back, primarily because the running back might be one of the guys blocking for you. Um, a lot of the times it will be, but you can see the pressure actually comes screaming in off the edge unless he blocks six or seven. So let's just go, to, go ahead and take a look at this at the instant replay and see why the quarterback had to get rid of the ball. So right here, um, what happens is this, safe, this uh, center, gets preoccupied by these defenders and you've got two blitzers on the outside one guy goes in another guy goes to the outside and right here as you can see the pressure actually comes streaming in like that so it's a very easy blitz to set up uh, and get going for you we're going to go ahead and spread out the the, the uh, linebackers to see if we can get uh, both uh, both double a gap or both double b gaps against our opponent so we're going to pitch our line down we're going to we're slant them inside and we take our linebackers and spread them out a little bit and then QB contain. And then we're just going to use our, our, um, our, the running back uh, man coverage over the top. And as you can see right there, the pressure comes in. And we have an opportunity to go and get a user pick because the computer just gets rid of the ball. So uh, it's a very effective play. Uh, it's easy to set up. So you can see uh, the pressure comes in both sides. And because the safety is on nowhere's land, um, it's going to basically force your opponent to block six or seven because of the pressure. And obviously, if he scrolls up or he, he scrambles out, you've got these guys in the contain set up for you. So, what's the problem with this particular blitz is that it is man coverage. So, if you have good uh, wide receivers with good route running, uh, generally they might get separation. This is susceptible to a double move, so <clears throat> it's important that you make sure you go ahead and, and, and don't press these guys uh, because it's really not going to help too much. And you're susceptible to uh, slants over the middle. So what you could do is you could actually turn this into a hybrid defense, and I'll show you how you can do that. So once again, we're going to go ahead and set this back up. So we've got the pressure set up. Now what you can do is uh, you can go ahead and um, set up a hybrid defense. And you can do that by actually going ahead and using your controllers and, and putting uh, your outside wide receivers in soft squats. And give yourself a, a, a Tampa 2 look type shell. And just play this guy right over the middle. So once again, you've got some pressure, and now you're actually giving your opponent a different look. So if he's throwing like quick outs to go ahead and stop it, you can make a quick adjustment on the quick out, and that's going to put a soft squat over there. I've got a deep half playing over here, and uh, what's going to happen is it's going to throw off your opponent's reads, and you're still going to get that pressure in, even if he blocks six. 
Or you could do a coverage type situation like this where you've got hook zones and then hard flats with it, which, which are the edge defenders. And once again, this is just going to give your opponent some hard reads on where he wants to go with the ball. So uh, that's basically the hybrid look that you could do with this defense if you want to get a little bit creative. Uh, that's what I do like about this defense is that uh, it's going to be very difficult for your opponent to go ahead and see exactly what you're going to be doing with it. But you can always defend. You can always depend on that that man coverage to go ahead and get that blitz for you. So right there, he just threw right into the free receiver. I'm going to go ahead and pick that ball off. So guys, if you like these type of tips, make sure you hit that like button. And once again, to my subscribers and my Patreons, thanks for your help. And until next time.